morning. A little bit of emails, a little bit of supplements. Got a podcast about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So I'm going to rush, get to the gym. Normally it's admin work. Emails in the morning. Coffee. No coffee yet. I need an energy drink. I like a nice coffee in the morning while I'm doing my work. But uh, we're Skyping my boy Jacob. So podcast changes everything a little bit. Uh, normally it's midday. And the guest is in person or something. So a little different of a day. Nothing too crazy that I can't get over. Ride with me. Sweaty out here, 106. Just banged out the uh, podcast with my boy Jacob. He's coaching the South Sudanese team to the Olympics. A little pre workout carbies, and then we'll hit uh, some legs and deadlift. Yo, 106 in sack, man, get a little hot. I don't, I don't mind it. I really don't. I'm gonna warm up on the pendulum. I've been using like a leg press or something to like warm up rather than work, and then deadlift will be the work. Something about like rap music, hot ass weather, which reminds me of like. Ronnie Cole me, Coleman videos, you know? Something so like unique about those videos. He was like the first vlogger. They, they called it a movie or a documentary, but it was like, uh, it was just like him. <laughs> There's like no edits, waking up, eating a pound of chicken, going to the gym, slamming weights, no cuts, no fancy anything. It like gives you a real good look into what bodybuilding actually is though. It's kind of mundane. It's kind of beauty in the mundane. That's where all these hypocritical motherfuckers, that's the issue. All these like business gurus and even fitness pros. And someone's gonna say like, Mike, you're talking shit on Bart, but Bart lives the life. And he has for 30 years. But dudes will like get into bodybuilding powerlifting. They'll do it for like a year or two, compete or coach it. And then all of a sudden now they're doing jujitsu or running. Yet the whole time their coaching emphasis is like, yeah, man, like, it's all about the grind. It's all about consistency. It's about the lifestyle. But, like, your lifestyle hopping, then. Like, the beauty is doing this for 10 years, 20 years, not having fun, but still doing it because you know it leads you to that unpromised goal, you know? The sacrificing for you don't know what's going to come. Like, the preparation for you don't know what the result's going to be. The delayed gratification. That's, like, the beauty. You can't have delayed gratification in a week. You do a week worth of work and then expect a fucking prize at the end. Run a business for a month or even a year, even four years, five years, run one business for five years and expect to win the lottery or to have it figured out. I lost my hat yesterday, hauling ass and it got windy. I'm going like 30 miles an hour. I'm going like 30. And it just fucking, yeah, cause I always feel it like this with a wind. But then it goes, yee! <laughs> and I thought for a second like, all right, do I pull over? I'm going 30. I'm like, do I, <laughs> it's gonna take me an hour to find it. I'm gonna have to U-turn across traffic. I said, fuck it, man. Someone just got a free good company hat out there. See Jamar, what did he squat, eight? I saw like 585, he moved like it was 315. Bro, he told us his ultimate life goal is to squat a thousand. He said, I'll gain weight. He's like, I'll gain weight, I'm gonna squat a thousand. I think he could. I mean, he squatted 800 at like 200 pounds. So like if he decided like, fuck it, I'll go 220, 230 and just do it. He could be the smallest guy ever to squat a thousand. I'm throwing shots today. Do you think all the kids that like uh, be doing mic'd up Instagram posts, talking to the weights and shit, that's gotta be fake, right? Like no one actually talks to themselves like that. I do in my head. In my head, like I might be telling myself a cue or like when I'm pulling real max shit, you know, like at a comp, I'm just getting mad. You know, I'm thinking about some people that hated on me or like trouble shit. But no way on every day of the week, Monday through Friday, these guys train 
and you're like, 315 ain't shit. Here we go, my back feels good. You, they be doing shit like that, you know? Like, bitch, you got this. Bitch, you got this. I don't even know. This is gonna grow the glutes. Remember, this hard works for the glutes. Every Instagram clip I'm going through, they're like that. Three wheels, I've done this before, I can do it again. Shit like that. I have to fuck around and pull five, six plates for these hoes. Fuck around to find out, and I'm not here to fuck around. Call me the one pump chump, man. I got one set in me. That's about it. Ow, yeah. Hip thrust, baby. I'd be illegal in most gyms, pervert. Look, look, the pervert. He's getting the angle. So I'll get a mile walk in, go home, cook some beef. Let's rock. I, I won't bore y'all with my walking. Back home, ground beef, normal. It's 93.7. It's a hair cheaper. I'm gonna try to bang out two pounds right now. Again, I am like bulking, trying to just take a mental break. Again, that's why I put bulk in parentheses. Is like, I don't necessarily want to be bigger, or gain muscle, or anything. I just don't care. Um, but I need the mental breather to not diet or like focus on my food as much. So I've been eating this. Couple, you know, Chipotle or some cheat meals on the weekend. I'll probably vlog that for the last vlog of the diet break. Appreciate all the love on the last video about talking about where I am currently. Um, kind of the concept again of like growing wealth, assets, trying to be mature, trying to truly, truly live what I preach, you know, kind of the the sacrifice for the unknown, doing the work now to hopefully succeed later, rather than showing the internet I'm rich to hopefully get rich more so, because that seems to happen on the internet. You show and, and show out that you're rich and then more money comes because you're getting views, etc. I just feel bad for all the people that that doesn't work with, right? You can't, everyone can't go like lease a Lambo on a credit card and then end up being rich and powerful on YouTube to make more money to pay off that credit card. There are just as many, there's way more people that do that and end up losing money than those folks that think showing that lifestyle will earn them that lifestyle and it just doesn't. So I'm really focusing on the wealth, financial management of myself and my mother um, with the real estate stuff. So we're still in the process of that. The issue then becomes for me though, and again, like your guys' comments, the views were higher which I understand part of it's the vulnerability and part of it is the relatability. Um, and people want the tea. People probably want to see me fail, which is great. And they want to see me down. But it's like the positive reinforcement I receive from being like transparent and almost in a sense negative then makes me want to talk that way always, right? Because then it gets, and that works the opposite way too, right? One guy shows his Ferrari half naked on a car and he gets a bunch of views. Then all of his content now is half naked on a car, getting a bunch of views. If opening up like that gets results, views, connection, because I do want to connect with you guys, and I, uh, clearly I want views. Like that's why we make content. I want to help entertain, reach, and educate people and share my journey. But then I don't want to just come on here and complain every fucking day, you know? But then counter to that, if I come on here and I have to even work, go be positive or like joking and laughing, and it's kind of the same concept everyone thinks that. I'm an extrovert just because I have a skill of, of talking to people. But true, truly, I, I like to be alone. And I gain my energy alone. I'm, 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 the, I'm an introvert to the core. I, I don't love social stuff. Or being an introvert with talking skills and social skills in a job that makes me do it. Not only on the internet, on the podcast, on Instagram, but also in person with seminars and members at the gym. Like I don't want to bring a negative energy there. 
So I fake it till I make it. I don't like being fake either. So I feel like sometimes I'm stuck between a hard place and a, what's that, a rock and a hard place, right? If you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, I want to be authentic. I want to share the true journey with you and be honest. But I don't want to just, and that gets views and relatability. But I don't want to just be, walk around being negative my whole life, spitting motivational fucking words, right? I want to have fun and I want, I want people to feel good when they're around me, right? I think that's a big goal of mine, like good company, entertaining on the internet. Like a big goal of mine is not for people to leave an interaction with me online or in person and one, think I'm different online or in person because I really am the same. Two, to leave it negative, right? Like people whine and shit about, oh, you can't, you can't be like a pleaser and have everybody like you. I'm like, yeah, I, I understand the concept. I can't go out of my way to please everybody. But I also want people to have a positive life. So why wouldn't I want them to have a positive interaction with me? You know, that makes no freaking sense either. And I, I listen to a lot of business stuff and a lot of philosophy and gurus. And that's the issue. Is like it's, it's also contradictive. And it, they make it seem like it's an exact science. And it's just not. Humans are complex-ass creatures, you know? And hopefully that rant, I don't know, tells you something about how my brain works, very least. Here's the beef. Not that exciting. We'll throw down some rice. I basically make two meals. So I'll eat about 100 to 200 carb. 200 protein, and then whatever fat lies in between that. Maybe a little bit more carb with that apple, but an apple is like 20 carbs, so it's not a huge deal. And again, I'm not really tracking the bulk. Oh, one more big cheat deal, dude. It's actually been the only thing I've been burning money on. Talk about things that you do like sacrifice that for is uh, DoorDash, I'll do Chipotle because I don't have a car and I don't want to ride my bike with a burrito in my hand. And then two is Cinemark. The movie theater is now on DoorDash. And movie popcorn is one of my favorite substances on the planet. So I ordered an XL popcorn DoorDash. It's a little lazy, but holy shit, was it delicious. So I might do that again before the strict 30 days getting jacked. Leg day was successful today. Full 500 for three. Out of nowhere. Have a deadlift in two months. Can't be mad at that. My life is very routine. And again, some of that is built around. And, and, and I feel like when people talk about discipline or routine, they, they think of like this crop cut. You know, they think military-esque. Or they think, you know, Goggins yelling at you, waking up at 6 a.m. To me, routine is just being able to do the same things daily, the small things, because you know it's going to lead to big things. And because they get you to where you're going. And they don't have to be extreme. They don't got to be crazy. They don't have to be out of this world. They don't have to be uh, a gimmick. They don't have to be cold baths. I take hot showers and hot baths, motherfucker. And I'm still healthy. And I'm still productive and I still own companies. Discipline in inherently isn't extreme. It's just what you can do. It's just doing the same things daily. The, the needed work It's doing your job. I know that sounds insane, but it's just doing your job. It's that simple. Do your job. All in on your goal. Do your freaking job. Well, I think that's it, fam. I do appreciate you I'm trying to put out a blog or two a day or a week, a day, maybe one day. Uh, a couple meetings on vlogs and content creation coming up, so we'll see how that progresses the channel. Um, but again, my main goal, because I talk shit on the world of marketing and the world of YouTube and the, how overly produced and fake, straight up fake it is, when I hear people say, oh, he's different off camera, or I'm different on camera, that's just how I act on camera, um, that rubs me the wrong way. Because I think the whole idea of social media or vlogging, me holding the camera and speaking to an audience is I owe you the authenticity of showing you who I am and the reality that I live. Not putting on a show for you. If you want to watch a show, go to Netflix. If you want reality, let's keep social media real. Hashtag keep social media authentic and genuine. Catch you on the next one. The Glocks are flowing. Let me know if you made it this far. Comment below that you love pizza and what haircut I should get.